congratulations on the number. A pretty decent beat here. Uh, talk to me quickly here about the production range and sort of what we can expect uh, over the next few years out of Barrick. So, uh, as you know, we set out to, to build one of well, the most valued gold company, focus on value. And, uh, and what we've done is cleaned the company up. Uh, we've increased earnings, as you point out. Uh, most importantly, reduced the net debt by nearly 50%. We've increased dividends, which is important to give something back to shareholders. And we've got a five-year plan, which, which pre is, presents a solid uh, foundation on which to build. And that's a solid five million ounces a year for the next five years. We're going to be guiding the market 10 years with our annual report uh, during March. So um, you made some progress on the debt. Net debt zero. I remember you talking about that a little bit a while ago. When are you going to hit that? So, you know, that depends on the, and how our program goes to clean up some of the non-core assets. And, of course, if you consider the gold price today, uh, and if it stays around there for the rest of the year, we should get there by the end of the year. All right. So when we talk about gold prices, I mean, obviously a lot of this is linked to uh, the lower interest rates, the weaker dollar, and, of course, uh, some of the risks surrounding, you know, the election and other uh, global issues. Uh, how confident are you that uh, the current state of prices uh, uh, that we see right now in futures and in the spot market, that that's actually sustainable? So if you look at the we allocate capital at $1,200 gold, I don't believe that the, there's pressure on that number going forward. Uh, we budget for this year, we're budgeting at 1350 and of course the gold price is uh, substantially above that at this stage. So, you know, that, that, that delta between our plan and, and the, the today's gold price is really uh, the, drives our earnings for the next 12 months effectively. And is, do you... Okay, well, do you think that there is kind of a significant short-term link between what we're seeing in gold prices and what you're seeing with regards to supply? Yes, I, it's very interesting you ask that question. For the first time for many years, in fact, since I was involved in the mining industry, we've seen a decline in gold production in 2019. We've all been guiding towards a peak gold period, you know, the, this year or next year perhaps. But, uh, and we're forecasting a 30% drop in gold supply uh, looking out uh, by 2029, next 10 years. And, uh, and also, as you point out, the fundamentals that support the gold price are all well aligned as we speak today. But uh, there's another one coming, and that is the supply side of the equation. All right. Last year, uh, a big narrative uh, in your industry was consolidation. Are we going to see more consolidation in the industry this year? And how big of a role, if any, are you going to play in that? I, I, you know, we've done our job. Uh, we, are, we are of, uh, of course, will look at opportunities to add to our Tier 1 uh, portfolio of assets. Where I'm completely focused on delivering a Tier 1 standout organization based on quality and, and, and earnings potential. And, um, and, you know, that's something. But I think we've built a, a, a lot of work for us uh, for 2020, yeah. and uh, we're going to be cut out to get our job done.